When Ash and I first saw Fortune, uh, we were both 31. I had just finished my 10th year of high school coaching, coached at a 5A football program in Arkansas, and I was really living out a childhood dream. It was everything I ever wanted to do. However, simultaneously, our family had begun, and we had actually just had our fourth child, and we had made a commitment on our second child that we wanted to raise our own kids. Ashley had left a job at a doctor's office to be a stay-at-home mom, and all of a sudden, when child three and four hit the ground, no matter how much we had downsized and prepared, financially, things got very, very tough at our house. And it forced us into doing a lot of things we hated doing. I had to mow yards on Saturday. I landscaped in the summertime, built fences. Once again, I didn't understand it at the time. You only know what you know, and I didn't understand leverage at that time. I was still just trading time for money. All I knew is that we could never get ahead. And my dad, who's a CPA of 30 years, very analytical, has never participated in network marketing, neither had I. He just came to me and he said, Todd, one of my clients, is, I've been doing his books for 30 years, has gotten involved with something. He said, everything this guy touches turns to gold. I'm going to go take a look at it tonight. You should go with me. And Ash and I went that night. We actually almost didn't go. The biggest issue we had when we first saw this was no time and no money. Um, I coached a 5A football program that took every ounce of time we had. And I just didn't know how we could fit something else into our life. I didn't understand it then, but I, I do understand now that that we're not looking for people with time and money. We're looking for people who want to create the extra time and income into their lives. So when Ash and I first got started, we didn't really mandate time to this. We just worked it into our schedule. I would show a teacher on a planning period. I would grab a kid's parents when they picked them up at the weight room, spend maybe three, four hours a week at most initially working the business. And the 299 that it took us to get started, basically I borrowed that from my dad. It, I saw the business. I, I wished I had signed up that night, but I didn't have the income in my bank account to do so. So after 18 days of uh, festering on it, Ash and I decided we would join the company. I made the phone call to my dad, borrowed the 299, and that's how we got started in Fortune. Everything about it was different than anything we'd ever seen before. It was a merger of network marketing and corporate America together. It was reoccurring bills everybody in the world was already paying. And we ended up getting involved at that time for what we thought would be extra money. But what happened for Ash and I on a very part-time basis is by our second, third, fourth month, we had built several hundred dollars a month of income into our life. And I know that's not enough to catch everybody's attention, but if you're a high school coach living paycheck to paycheck, three, four, five hundred dollars a month is more than enough to make a difference. And when we began to do that, it, it kept my focus and we just kept putting more time into it. And by the time we got in to month five, six, and seven, those couple hundred dollar paychecks had become several thousand every month. Then all of a sudden we look up a year into it after getting pretty serious about it, working at a lot of evenings and Saturdays, and our income is doubling and in some months tripling what I'm making as a high school football coach. And when we get to that level, we actually had a discussion and decided that we would resign from that profession. Anybody can coach and teach. You can do that any day. Very few times in a person's lifetime you get to do something that can really change your life forever. And we just thought it was worth the chance. And we resigned from the profession. I was scared to death. I'll never forget that next 12 months because I'd never been in business before. And in this type of business, you have to be disciplined. And I remember a lot of times wondering if I had done the right thing. But what happened for us over the next 12 months, by the time we got to the second year, our income in Fortune actually had risen to the point that on a monthly basis, we were making more than I'd ever made in a year coaching high school football in Fort Smith, Arkansas. And we just continued working. And we've been full-time now in the company for about five years. And we were just, we were amazed. We actually took a trip to the Cayman Islands last month. Spent a full month down there. Flew my parents in, our four kids. We enjoyed ourselves. And actually, on vacation, made more last month than I would have made in a five-year span of coaching high school football. And that cannot be done in a regular job. And I just want everybody to understand, you've got to think out of the box if you're going to be able to do those things that normal people don't get to do. If you're going to wake up at 10 o'clock in the morning with no alarm clocks on a consistent basis, if you're going to put the time into your four children that you really want to put into them, not give them that hour when you get home from work, the only way to really do that is you've got to create leverage in your life and you've got to have some type of residual income. The one thing that if you could just let sink in, if the work is the same, and it is here, there's no shortcut on work in, in fortune. There's time and effort that must be put into it. But it's no harder than what you currently do. It's probably not as hard as it was when we were coaching uh, because I spent a lot of time there at the coach's office. But the difference is, is in Fortune, you do the work one time and you're paid forever because it's residual income on the work you did that single time. Whereas in most occupations, you're only paid once for your time. I know that when I was coaching football for 10 years, when we decided to resign from that profession and do this full time, they sent me one more paycheck two weeks later, and I've never heard from the school system yet. Uh, it's a key indicator that in that equation, my time was needed. And I think if everybody thought about their current occupations, irrelevant to the income you make, what would you really be making if 
you decided to take off for 30 days or maybe something happened to you unexpectedly and you couldn't work for six months, most would say that there's no way I could maintain my same standard of living if I wasn't able to put into my small business or my job what I'm currently putting into it. And that's the neat thing about Fortune. It gives everybody a chance to create an asset, not just a living. We actually made a decision about three years into it after we'd gone full time. I said, why don't we just move somewhere where we can live on vacation instead of going on vacation once or twice a year. So we started looking around, we looked at the beach, we, looked, we ended up deciding to move to a lake called Lake Norman, North Carolina, where we're currently living today. And what we set up a situation is that when I would go do a meeting and come home, we lived on the lake, the dock is right in our backyard, so we just walk right down and get on the jet skis at three o'clock on a Tuesday afternoon, or at nine o'clock on a Monday morning, we go out and ski with the kids, and it just creates a lifestyle that I used to watch on TV. I was like, how do those people live that way? What do they do? And what I've learned since I've been in Fortune is you cannot do, this is the most important thing to understand, you cannot do what other people do and expect to get something different. Our kids have got so much more possibilities today than what they did before. Being broke, you don't, under, you don't really even realize it when you're living in that world of paycheck to paycheck and what your kids and what you are really missing out in life. But what money is allow you to do, um, it allows you to open up those doors and the world is just all right there at you. And we are able to expose our kids to so much more possibilities out there that we would have never been able to before. You know, as you're looking at this business model for the first time, you're looking at the ability to create leverage in your life, residual income, and I think most importantly, you're looking at your ability to get in the middle of a trillion dollar empire of bills getting exchanged out here every month. We all fear change. It's always the fear of the unknown. Can I really do something I've never done before? Can I do that something that I've not prepared for the last 10 years to do? And I'll just tell you as you evaluate this, don't let fear stop you. This is a chance to change your life forever to a degree that the average person going through life can't imagine. When you create leverage and residual income in your life, the sky's the limit.